Now, your sphere of influence, because retaining a current client is more important than generating a new one. Did y'all know that? You, you, you do like this, like yes, you know, but you, but you really, but you don't treat it this way in your business, right? If you abandon your clients, your competitors are waiting in line to orphan them. Mm -hmm. So here's your sphere of influence. These are people that are your past clients, people you know, and people who you've met. That's your sphere of influence. Seven out of ten sellers, seven out of ten sellers, right? How do they pick the listing agent they go with? Seven out of ten. Right? This is based on NAR, right? Seven out of ten chose an agent based on referral by a friend, neighbor, or relative, or they used a previous agent. Seventy percent. Is that, is that right? Yes. Seventy percent. So why are you spending the majority of your money on new stuff? Oh, I got this new leads program, or I'm buying. That, you're going after the 30 percent. You are spending money to attract strangers and abandoning the people that love you. That's dumb. Dumb with a capital D. Dumb. <laughs> dumb. Isn't that dumb? You're spending all your time and energy and money on strangers when you got 70% of the people that already say they, would, they love you and they want to do business with you, right? That's your SOI. 84% of people say they would use you again. What percentage actually do use you again? Much lower. 20%. 20%. Anyone else? 40 or 11. It's between 9 and 13%. Yeah, it's be, some, 11 is a good one, right? So let me ask you this. Anybody like to use Yelp when you, when you decide to eat somewhere or something like that? Somebody, some of y'all use that? So let's say you pull up a steak restaurant and they have a 4.5 star rating, 4.5. Are you eating there tonight? No. I mean, they have 236 reviews, 4.5. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to eat there, right? Now you pull up another one, they got 238 reviews, they got one star. Are you going to eat steak there? No. Right? Do you realize that by abandoning your, your past clients, by abandoning them, you go from a 4.5 star rating to a one star rating? Did y'all realize that? 11% say actually do use you again, but it's actually about 9%, right? But 86% but say they will. That's, that's 4.5 out of, out of 5. So if you're going to make $100,000 this year, 70000 of it will come from these people, this sphere of influence. If you don't keep in touch with them, how much does that $70,000 bucket dwindle down to? It's about 10,000 bucks, right? Why are y'all uh, leaving so much money on the table? Hmm? Why are you refusing to stay in touch with your, your sphere of influence? Raise your hand if you have a database already. Keep it raised if it's up to date and current, fresh, right? Some of y'all lying. You're lying up in here. Some of y'all do have it up to date. You just did it, right? High five. Who, who else just did it? I just did mine. High five over there, right? Uh, some of y'all have a jacked up database, right? You're trying, to, you're trying to pretend. Most agents, I teach you guys all the time, so I know, right, that how you guys are. Most of y'all have a bad, really bad database right now. It's, you got people on there that fire you. Come get your sign and lockbox. I'm done. They're still in your database. You know what I'm saying? You haven't cleaned it up. So you got to do that. Now, I'm going to give you, the reason why most of you aren't doing this is because you lack an easy-to-implement plan. That's what I'm going to give you right now. It's going to be super simple, right? I use what I call the KISS method. Y'all ever heard of the KISS method? Who, who you call stupid? You call me stupid? Huh? Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, sweetheart. Or keep it super simple. That's my favorite. I call it two glasses of wine simple. I just had my second glass, and I still understand what he's saying. Huh? Why, do I have to, why does it have to be so simple for you guys? You won't do it otherwise. Do it if it ain't easy, y'all won't do it. That's the bottom line, right? They say if you want something done right, do it yourself. Well, for realtors, that's what I say. If you want something done at all, don't do it. Hire somebody. Because <laughs> if I leave it with you to do, it won't get done. Right? Is that right? Yeah. Right? This means right. This is yes. Uh-huh. Right? I, I don't, I don't want to beat you guys up, but I'm, I want to I tell you, you don't have to be, you don't necessarily have to be better than you are at, you know, uh, the paperwork and all the other stuff that you shouldn't be doing anyway. 
Just hire somebody else to do it. <laughs> and then you instantly become good, right? Here's an 18-touch plan. This is what we use at the Nolly team, right? We do 12 newsletters, okay, that comes out every month. Once a month, we have an e-newsletter that goes out. Uh, we send four postcards a year, right? It's the same postcard, guys. We don't try to get creative and make a fall card and a spring card. and Because if I taught you to do that, you won't do it. At the beginning of the year, you've got 250 people in your database, print 1,000 cards, send the same one out every quarter, right? By the way, do you have to, are, are, farming is different, but do you have to really, really sell your past clients in sphere of influence? No. You just got to remind them that you're still in business. Oh, yeah, he does sell real estate. I forgot. You know what I'm saying? Right? Otherwise, you find out they bought or sold a house without you. Right? Every, three every three months you do that, and then twice a year, you're on the phone with a personal phone call. This plan takes you a couple hours a week to implement at most. The, the newsletter is set it and forget it, right? Uh, we use More Sold's database. It's a, one that I created, and I now make it free to agents to sign up and use. Um, as far as the, the postcard, that's super simple, right? Give them to Barbara. She sends them out every quarter. Done, right? Or give them to your, your, your niece, your, your children, or whoever, somebody down the street, you know, a, a neighbor friend. And the two phone calls, you make those. You can throw in a New Year card once a year if you want to. This, will keep, this simple plan will keep you in touch with your sphere of influence, right? Now, this is more sold on the back of the book. You'll see that. If you guys want to try that, it's a free CRM that we created for our team because we couldn't find one that was easy enough um, for Barbara and her owls to use, right? So we created one, and we just made it free to everybody else. 